we see a business landscape that's changing so dramatically at the moment. One is just the volatility of change. The second one I'd say is the impact of technology itself. Regulation and increased corporate governance scrutiny. More and more data moving online. Um, we've got to look at the policies around data and we have to be really careful and sensitive with the data that we hold and make sure that it's used in accordance for the uses that it was intended to be used. The Singapore Accountancy Commission launched the Accountancy Roadmap in June 2018. This particular roadmap outlines a 10-year plan for the accountancy sector to develop it. We are already working with the ACC in numerous fronts. This will definitely help in the joint development and contribution towards our success in developing Singapore as an accountancy hub. In this digital age, it's impossible to do everything and have all the skills you need within one organisation. So we do look to partner with others and work with others. I think the partnership we have with ACCA is a really good example of that. And that's where you, know, you have research arm of your organisation looking ahead at new themes and new trends and they're coming up with ideas how they keep their programs and their curricula uh, relevant. From a talent perspective, obviously, we try to access ACCS talent pool, uh, both in terms of, I guess, their existing network as well as students, where we have internships and new roles and so on. I'm very glad that we recruited a lot many people in Russia, Vietnam, Brazil, from the ACCA, which really helped me to, you know, augment my uh, leadership pipeline. Diversity is, is a critical attribute that we look for at Grant Thornton when we're hiring talent. Um, and ACCA has fantastic uh, pool of individuals where we can actually uh, attract individuals that have not only a strong technical and ethical foundation, which is critical to a, uh, a long career, to sustaining career in accounting, but also what excites me more is, is really the, the, what happens after the qualification. ACCA and the NCR Emerging Markets Institute um, share both a global footprint um, and also a commitment to developing work-ready talent at all organizational levels. Being an approved employer uh, with ACCA, you will get an, uh, access to various resources within ACCA. The ACCA qualification has given leadership uh, a tremendous amount of confidence because it continues to stay relevant in this ever-changing landscape. So if I look at your most recent uh, program around strategic business leadership, I think that kind of captures the skills that people are going to need in the future. Having the emotional intelligence to deal with various stakeholders and also the cultural sensitivity to know how to engage with various stakeholders and customers in various environments. That is a very critical skill uh, in the global business that we currently operate in. ACCA uh, is basically tackling all of those with the strategic business leader in the seven questions. What I love most about working with the ACCA is the dynamism of the people that uh, the ACCA have, the quality of research that they put out and the opportunity for businesses, for networks like mine, to interact with not only the ACCA but the ACCA's other stakeholders. So I have all of these high level network uh, of people that I can access even for anything personal or professional uh, outside of the ACCA events. Because of those relationships, uh, I think I'm, I'm a better professional now. The global footprint. Global talent pool. Agility. Multifaceted. Technology focused. Progressive, adaptable, and future-proof.